What the fuck? How do I see the chat? Chat, chat. What's this? Can you hear me? Can someone hear me? Yes or no? Thumbs up, thumbs down, you can hear me. Can you hear me? Yes, yep, yep, yep. All right, so, emergency conference. Emergency conference right now. Ryan Cohen, it is reported, he sold all of his Bed Bath & Beyond shares team. All of them. All calls, all equity, out, 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 out. RNC didn't sell it. He was always Jimmy. Dude, the dude had a position equivalent in 11.8% of the company. That's selling out. He fucking rubbed it in a day. He sold the 16th and the 17th, if you look at the filings. The guy completely fucking rubbed it. Completely rugged it. Dude, this fucking sucks. Um, it's actually way more difficult to think on this than I thought and talk. Usually I just want to sweat. But this, are you green screening now? I'm in the gym. Oh. So does he not make money? So that's what I wanted to bring up. And like... Imagine how this is for me. I thought we were going to have a nice, easy Thursday. I filmed the Bed Bath & Beyond thing earlier today. Sent it to the producer, the editor. And I was like, yo, like, we'll post this later. I'll take it an easy Thursday. No worries. And then here we are. Brian Cohen ruining my streaming career. While he makes me make a new piece of content. <laughs> He rugged BBBY, yeah. I think he's down another 30% post-market right now. Can someone fact check that? Dude, I should have called this stream once a suit, always a suit. Because this shit is so fucking insane. Like, so, so, so ridiculous that this is a thing. Lord, love God and neighbor. Go fuck your mother. My mother? For Ryan Cohen's mother. Team. Team D, team, team, team. Message of the day. Once a suit, always a suit. Have puts at nine and seven. Well, Oscar, you're crushing it. He was going to diamond hit it? Apparently not. RC Ventures, as of today, owns one thing and one thing only, GME. How is this... Do you think this is legal? I guess it's one of those things where it might be technically legal, just crazy and moral. The dude knows that everyone's going to react to his 13D filing. So it rips. And then he sells out as literally as soon as he could have. Oh, wait. Due to me being a fucking walking bag of mayonnaise, I uh, forgot to answer the question that someone asked about the stock swing rule. So remember, we saw it this morning in his filings that he bought between January and March. So if you look at the March time frame, he can't sell for six months, which would be September as in next month. But he could realize the profit on all the January, February ones. My fear is this will have negative implications on GME. What's GME at in post market? Can someone tell me where G it has to be down? I'm guessing 6%, 8% GME has to unfortunately be getting drugged down with this. BBBY at 12, 18, Jesus. Dumping. 
He's out, team. It's a rug. It's a rug. Down 6.5. Close enough. That's so brutal. And the issue with this is so much of this was like the narrative and the cult behind Cohen. So my fear is that that negatively spills over into GME if he's not lauded as some sort of hero figure after this. Rightfully so. I mean, I just arbitrarily didn't have any bed bath. It wasn't some big brain move. It was luck. I just didn't get in. Have AMC GME never had bed bath. Pure luck though. I wanted it. As now I just feel super lucky. But I'm sure there's many of you on this right now who are like just gut wrenchingly broke right now. Like just emotionally. He just ripped it. He rugged it. Morality is not legality. Never can confuse the two. Exactly. Do I think that Ryan Cohen everything did everything above the legal line? Yes. Did he do everything above the moral line? No. And that's why, dude, wants a suit, always a suit. Isn't he like already a billionaire? He doesn't give a shit. He does not give a shit. He's all in the GME like me. Yeah, I guess now he is. Someone just said, dude, I can't read this when I'm dying. Dude, you don't become thick cores overnight, team. That's one thing I can tell you. You don't get these tree trunk thighs from just losing on Tesla options. That's for fucking sure. The key to this, these tree trunk legs is losing on Tesla and stair stepper. How much did he make on it? Uh, I don't know if that can be perfectly calculated because I don't think, I think it's a little opaque of the exact entry and exit. But if you look at the chart from yesterday, at 245, that's exactly when he started selling and that's perfectly reflected in the chart. Just so wild. How does it have a thousand people watching your workout? I'm the world's biggest Pico influencer team. This is Pico influence at its finest. Recap. Uh, what was the stock recap of the day? The market had a pretty nice rally in the close. Tesla was oddly weak, which makes me feel good about still having my Tesla puts. But I don't know. I feel like, for good reason, Bed Bath is now done. I fear it's going to pull down GME. And let's just hope that it doesn't spill over into the world of AMC. Because as we've seen in similarities on the chart, they're commonly traded as a basket. What do you mean for good reason? I mean good reason as like it's evident, like Ryan Cohen sold. Like evident reason. Like it's not hard to see. AMC looking like Bed Bath and Jimmy. That's basket trading for you. What's AMC at? How what's its percentage in post market? Down four. At least it's down the least. Damn. Well, make sure at some point tonight uh, a video is coming out that breaks down everything Adam Aaron and the leadership team said about Ape and what it does mean or it doesn't mean. There's just 
way too much FUD going on about those two as an AMC and Ape and what it is and what it isn't. I was just in the dumbest Twitter space call about it and it's sad how much misinformation and hopium is going on out there and I just don't want this to permeate into other aspects of the community because I still think it's all one community but so many people freaked out yesterday about the 144 and screamed at everyone look at reddit look at twitter They're like no way would he sell why would Ryan sell? going to ever sell and here we are and I think it's a sobering reminder that you should not put your faith in I guess what I've been referring to as a suit you need to put this in yourself these are your own trades don't have hopium and faith in any fucking suit if they do things that benefit you, great, awesome. But to think that they're there to help secure your financial well-being. We just got very hard medicine to swallow, but that's not the case. I think Ryan Cohen as like his internet mystique, I think that's done. Adam Aaron still has it. All I'm saying is I don't think he's a good guy. I don't think he's a bad guy. I'm just saying don't put your faith in the suit. It's so silly. Oh. The captain of the ship abandoned it before it was sinking. Seems like it. Sure talk party. Nah. Just, just stepping. RC ruined the vibes today, remember that. Unfortunately, he did. Dude. This is... I think I got a little bit ahead of myself. Oddly difficult. Oh, this guy steps. Yeah. I like to get 200 flights in. And then... Usually, I spend the time arguing with people on Twitter... So this is a nice change of pace. A little change of pace. It's so hard to do this and talk. I feel like my oxygen. Boy, your 401 case, fuck them. I don't know. I truly, I don't mean this with any, like, secret subliminal messaging, but... Because of Ryan Cohen rugging BBBY, how many of you have lost faith in GME now? I mean, I still have mine, but like, this is so tough to support someone who does this shit. <laughs> Dude, I can't read this. Aim, see or die, FG and me. Aim, see only, true. I mean, it should be a daily current. Papa Joe says, I'm done. Don't leave us. I might be live streaming my own cardiac arrest. You wouldn't want to miss that. This might be what all those douchebag keyboard warriors want. I feel like half the viewers in here right now are that. Just maybe Matt will die. Uh, oh, those fucking incels. R335, what's up? Dude, just has to come too fast through down the stair stepper. How many stairs to the moon? One more. Just one more. Always one more. We move move all funds to AMT. Don't let uh, 
ape supporter here, you say that, they'll accuse you of not being an ape if you're all in on AMC. They're fucking backwards logic. Now, can BBBY go back up? Of course it could. I think it's improbable. You're left over with a CFO who hasn't really helped the company, an interim CEO who got put there ever since the last guy got kicked out a couple months ago. It's push to sales ratio solid relative to its competitors, but its revenue is declining every year like bad. He killed the sentiment exactly. All of the hype that was behind it is gone. This looks depressing. Uh, it's called stair stepping. It's gonna be an Olympic sport. I'm just getting ready. Getting ready. It's just in case they ever bring it to the Olympics. I want to be ready. After hours work so evil. I agree. It's bullshit. You think they dilute ape right away? Uh, they can. I don't think it's that likely though, unless they've either already identified cheap debt or solid M and A opportunity. Does Matt believe in AMC? I believe in AMC exponentially more than I believe in Ape. AMC or Jimmy? I want to see the dust settle, but I mean, Ryan Cohen's kind of a douchebag, but he also didn't sell GME. So, I mean, what if you have to cut off the gangrenous part to save the other? Like, what if he takes all of that money and puts it into GME? It could play out multiple ways. You think he's going to get sued for this? Why not Ape? Because Ape can be diluted without shareholder approval. AMC has to have shareholder approval. I wonder if this information was leaked before. And someone loaded up on puts. I'm sure that's on unusual whales or tendies. How do we know he sold the filing? It's out. It's positive. This isn't like an opinion. It's factually filed. Like we know. It dilutes AMC as a company, but not AMC stock. He used you. I've never had any BBBY. And it wasn't because of smart thinking, it was because I already just got lucky. Do you not feel weird about why Jimmy and AMC dropped a lot at the same time? No, they're traded as a basket. Will AMC rock it tomorrow? You know, a lot of dipshits on Twitter are promising that. And do I want it to rip tomorrow? Yes. Do I think it's stupid to guarantee any date? Without a doubt. My point is, just don't trust any CEOs. They're all fuckers. All fuckers. Dude, we are working up a sweat. Oh, this is how you forget about the 70,000 that you lose earlier in the week. You deprive your brain of so much oxygen that you can't think straight. Even YouTubers, if you say so, sounds like you're jealous. 
All I do is share what my thoughts and opinions are. If you want to buy, sell, go for it. If you want to run on a treadmill, instead of being a stair-stepping to God, have fun with that. This is it. You think this stream is about Ryan Cohen and BBBY and GME and Suits and Adam Aaron and AMC and Wall Street, it's not. I'm Matt Kors as of Thursday, August 18th. I'm officially declaring war on treadmills. I know this might be a little off topic, but I will dedicate the next portion of my life to bringing down big treadmill. I've had enough of it. I am taking my full account and I am buying leap put on the treadmill industry. All of them, every single kind, I don't care. I am purely a stair-stepping supporter from this moment forward. If you bring up treadmills to me, not only will I not talk to you, I'll block you. It's one of the most evil conglomerates we have out there. Oh, dude, where are we at on this? Long on stairs, exactly. Treadmills are just not natural. Are you telling me it's natural to have magical moving ground? No, not at all. They're bullshit. Bullshit. Magical moving ground is not natural. It's not meant to be a thing. Oh. Treadmills unite you wish. I'm taking down big treadmill. Did I do it? Oh, fuck yeah. Oh. 31 minutes, 190 floors, 500 calories. That's how we do it. That's, that's what it is to show your hatred for fucking treadmills. <laughs> Short Peloton. Yeah, they have some bike stuff though. So that could be confusing. Oh. Well, folks, I need to show nothing but the utmost respect for my stair stepper. So I'm going to go clean that off. And on the way, I might toss a treadmill off the building because those things over there, right there, you see that whole row of them? They're going down. They're going down. I don't get it. There's a whole row of those. And then there's only two of these. You know, I just want a little bit of equality in this world. Do I view myself as a little bit of a virtue signaling white knight? I do. But I'm here for the equality of cardiovascular health. Don't, don't fuck with my treadmill. Uh, here we go, team. All right, that's what I have for you. I need to clean this up. But more of the story is fuck suits and fuck treadmills. Peace.